This is the kingdom of peace. Well, the sketch of it. Hi, I'm Yara and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you the process of painting the Kingdom of Peace, my newest precious painting. Um, it's kind of a turning point for me, so I went a lot out of my comfort zone and I'm very excited to share this with you today. This piece really came from the heart, um, it was not easy, but I have somehow managed to turn off all the insecurities and comparisons and just not being there and I was just there. I just tried to paint exactly what I want. I, I tried to just feel what I want to paint and then just put it down on canvas. And I hope you enjoyed watching this process as much as I enjoyed painting it. Although it was at moments um, hard to paint and yeah it was not the easiest um, one of the reasons is because it's a very big um, it's big canvas for me around 40 by 50 centimeters or something like that and yeah it's a big piece and it took me six full days full painting days to complete um, not counting the preparation time and idea making and everything but yeah it was also challenging because I incorporated various landscape elements that are not in my comfort zone to incorporate in one piece uh, or in none like horizon um, mountains forests hill big river trees up close which you will see later and a castle I was building the color layer by layer and didn't really know what I was doing uh, the especially confusing part was the color palette because I wanted the river to be very turquoise and then I didn't want the sky to be turquoise but if I would make a sky uh, more toned down blue and the river turquoise it would not seem like it's part of the same painting because the river reflects the sky so I was just playing with colors there and at first I did this very very toned down um, not bright at all colors in the horizon I wasn't really sure what I wanted um, I had a few reference photos and a few things in mind but yeah was not sure how vibrant and colorful I want this piece to be because the idea of Kingdom of Peace at first what was that it represents total silence, mist, uh, darkness, um, just yeah, a total blueness, blueness <laughs> if that's a word I think it's not but um, yeah then I decided I will add some bright colors although I didn't wanna do this in the beginning and I made them even brighter and brighter and more vibrant through the process so at the end the colors on the horizon really stand out um, it, they're really pure um, red magenta orange and yellow and recently I also started to paint the skies less clean and more abstracty messy and yeah I was just painting really clean one color skies and it just doesn't suit me anymore I want this passion and brush strokes in the pieces of my paintings uh, lately I've been wanting the life you know the wilderness in my paintings up close but yeah mountains are a bit scary for me I have painted quite a few mountains in my life but it's out of my comfort zone because it looks like a really easy element to paint but then it can go so wrong so quickly uh, in my experience so they are a little intimidating for me and I think that's actually the first mountain that ever turned out good that I painted like turned out at least somewhat realistic and good-looking and not all weird 
with the forest I painted actually it's interesting I paint the forest the same way I paint the grass fields first I lay down the dark and then I just do highlighted trees on it and on the far away parts I paint it lighter and then add darker trees on it if that makes sense um, yeah through time I just kind of gotten to know the process of painting these nature elements as the grass and the trees and I'm very thankful for that because I really like painting landscapes and nature um, I never thought I will say I always liked to paint it but I thought my main thing were portraits but in the recent year I have discovered that I almost don't want to paint portraits or humanoids 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 anymore um, or creatures I just wanna paint trees that is my life trees grass skies water the water is a new one actually um, yeah landscapes landscapes are the best I wanted to paint the water here that is so very clean it looks actually magically turquoise uh, don't you love turquoise water like if you have ever been in the hiking trip or somewhere somewhere in nature where the water is so clean that it's turquoise that's like the best view ever and I wanted this water to look like the cleanest richest water in all the land and a supply of life for the castle. Big communities in history, in kingdoms and later cities always were built near the water or I guess almost always but I think that always and that is because they needed the supply of water for you know drinking, cleaning, for transportation, roads like with boats and stuff but yeah the communities of people were always near some kind of water and the castle cannot stand without at least a little stream near it but I wanted to go big and paint this massive river about this white castle it's made from the white rock I chose white because I wanted um, everything to reflect a total peace and purity and yeah I wanted this rock to be snow white like the cleanest rock and I don't know which rock is that but you know white castle and I always loved how castles look I don't know if you know but I am a biggest fan I was a biggest fan of Disney princesses and all kinds of fairy tales as I was little and as I grown up I love this kind of fantasy medieval stuff and castles are about the prettiest things if done right so no pressure on this castle I'm just kidding it was a little bit of pressure especially because at first it looked like it's too flat and I didn't know what I was doing wrong um, when I added more shadows like these blue shadows um, it didn't look white anymore but when I then added more white it looked flat so it took me quite a few attempts and layers to make it like it looks three-dimensional and like it looks that it goes in the in this space in this environment when I um, go painting I just make myself a plan what I'm gonna paint today and yeah I was just like I'm gonna paint a castle and this and that today and then I started to paint castle and it was so much work so much more work than I thought um, because it's kind of big and it has a lot of stuff and details going on and I painted it for two days straight like this castle was the longest taking element here and it really took a long time I mean hours and hours and hours to paint all those shadows highlights all the layers all the windows all the ornaments and details uh, it was a lot but I enjoyed it you know I enjoyed it because I love painting and I have painted something I wanted to paint 
and that's always a good good activity okay so let me talk about the meaning really quick so i never enjoyed violence i remember when i was um, a child and my schoolmates and friends played like video games like call of duty and stuff i just screamed i couldn't watch it was too scary i always hated violence that's like a little bit weird thing to say that you hate violence because it's redundant right but <laughs> anyways i don't like violence and suffering the humans put on other humans and animals is so horrible and this has been happening all throughout history and i painted this kingdom as an idea of peace no violence no evil only calm safety present moment almost zen-like castle the kingdom exists in a different realm where nature is restored and where evil has long been forgotten and the peace is very loved and appreciated but who lives there is a mystery and who built it probably some long lost humanoids evolved into different paths maybe it's up for your interpretation um, I just love the idea of kingdom of peace a little bit of fantasy the idea of peace and it kind of symbolically shows the majestic um, majestic beauty that peace can bring that peace is and yeah uh, that is it for this video thank you so much for watching and listening to me and I hope you liked this process, I hope you like this piece. If you want to see more videos like that, um, you can subscribe to this channel. I post a new video every single Friday. And you can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell original prints and stickers. Discount code only for my YouTube viewers is down below. And you can also check out my Instagram where I show you behind the scenes, works in progress, and everything fun that is going on in my art studio thank you again so much for watching and i will see you next week in another video i wish you a lot of peace in your arting bye